All right, guys, um, hopefully you can hear me well. It's, it's Katia, Katia Wilkes. I'm here at the beach. It's currently 7 a.m. January 1st, 2020. I brought my camera with my stand and everything, battery charge, and I forgot my SD card. So I'm trying to talk loud as I can. Um, you know, wanting to come here and just talk to you guys about 2019 as a reflection and going into 2020. Um, yeah, it's January 1st and I'm up at like 7 a.m. at the beach. I, well, not right on the beach because I didn't want the waves to be too loud in the video. Um, but yeah, I woke up at 5 a.m. and I didn't stay up till 12. I'm not trying to be like, oh yeah, I woke up at 5 a.m. But, um... I wanted to make it like a goal for 2020. Oh, and so I'm gonna preface this by saying like, yeah, I wanna talk about kind of goal setting, my personal goals and maybe my like tips or somewhat of what will help you, you know, make achievable and attainable goals for 2020. Um, because by no means I'm like poo-pooing on making resolutions, but I think, it's making attainable ones that are gonna be best for people. Um, like, yeah, I don't know. You, you can come up with an example, like running a marathon when you've, in two months when you've never ran before. Like that's not quite attainable, I'll be honest. Um, but there's other things that absolutely are. And so one of mine, for example, like I want to aim to wake up, you know, about like five to 5.30. I don't know if it'll happen and I'm sure there's gonna be days I don't but if I could say for like the majority of the year that I woke up early you know I didn't sleep until past eight or something then that's gonna be you know for me hitting that goal of waking up early okay it's kind of chilly um <laughs> so hopefully I'll survive out here but it's just so pretty and it's so nice to have it all super quiet and calm another car is pulling up one sec but anyways like looking at 2019 and kind of like what i've been able to achieve i have to say it's been one of my favorite years it's been there's been a lot of like ups and downs don't get me wrong but good downs in that i tackled them a lot differently than i would have in the past and that's what I think is like, you know, a win for me. Um, I didn't, you know, just kind of brush them over. I learned from them and, you know, moved forward. Um, I mean, I started my new job like last February. It's it's weird to call it new because now it's been almost, it's going to be a year once I hit February. So that's crazy for me um, to think that I've been that long with this company now. Um, and I love it. You know, my goals now this year, I'm trying to. Well, which I'm gonna go do soon is go to Starbucks and study for the GMAT more because I'm hoping to take it in February. I still have to like call and sign up. So that's the next thing off the list I'm gonna have to check. So um, yeah, but of course the tip, yeah, is make achievable goals. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm gonna make the goal to, you know, hopefully get into grad school and hopefully get a really good score on the GMAT. I'd love to, you know, my aim is above 600 as close as I can to, to 700 it's at 800 if uh you're not familiar with the gmat that's for business grad school where you know maybe you've heard of the gre for grad school um gmat's a little different so it's specifically for business school i want to do my master's in, in finance um so if you're new to my channel hi <laughs> i have my degree in accounting and so i do like regular accounting i can't do public accounting because i don't have my cpa um, because I don't have enough units to sit for it. Um, CPA being yeah, or certified public accountant, but I also want to be a CFA, which is a chartered financial analyst. So yeah, that's, that's a go big goal of mine, you know? Um, oops, sorry. I almost covered the camera, but anyways, I don't know if I'm going to edit this video, how long it's going to be or whatnot, but yeah, I still want to compete, do bodybuilding. You know, I said that I would do that last year, but things were up and down with my health, but you know, I took care of it. So that's good. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna continue this a little later because my hand's kind of freezing holding up my phone. 
So, and then with the glare, it's great. But anyways, then I can get my SD card, but I'm gonna go to Starbucks and study. And then I know I'm gonna be filming my leg day today because why not start off the year great with legs. All right, catch you in a bit. So I'm back in my room, um, but yeah, I did some studying, got my SD card and my camera. So hopefully sound quality, everything is better, but just kind of continuing off of what I was talking about before, um, you know, goal setting, all that stuff. I think important ways you can help achieve goals is, well, I mean, apparently it's proven that like if you first of all write them down, um, they tend to be a lot more, I don't know, I don't want to say that they're a lot more achievable, but that you're more likely to achieve them because like having it written down in front of you, you know, maybe if you post it up on your mirror every day, it's a lot different. For me, I think what's helpful um, on top of that is actually vocalizing them, telling people about your goals because also it keeps you somewhat accountable, even if the person's not keeping you personally accountable by telling someone your goal, you're thinking in the back of your mind like, shoot, what if I don't? And like, I mean, I'll admit, like I didn't hit the goal of last year competing, but I will say that I'm not gonna bog down on myself for it and just give up on it because I can see that I made progress towards that goal. Cause a big goal on top of that was also just taking care of my health. Um, you know, I had a really old injury from like two years ago in my adductor in my leg and I was taking the steps towards fixing it so that I could lift better, so that I could progress better. Um, investing in uh, physical therapy has been like one of the biggest things. Um, like right now I'm seeing like a chiropractor just to help me with the discs in my back. Um, getting more sports massages, uh, just that kind of stuff. And I mean, unfortunately sports massages are out of pocket and not insurance covered. So it's something that I found as like an investment for myself, for my health and longevity. Um, of course, with like physical therapy, insurance covers most of it, but of course, you know, if you know about deductibles and stuff, there's still a portion that's kind of out of pocket. So I'm grateful in that, like my new job, that <laughs> new job, I keep calling it that, but my job that I have currently pays a little more than my last one so that I'm able to better afford those kind of things. And for me, you know, I didn't do as much shopping. I did some in terms of like I wanted to decorate my room like I got a tapestry and stuff um, of course my spending was more towards supplements and stuff so I could do those reviews for you guys and lion's pack reviews those are my favorite they did have some more flavors so but there will be another video of that but I definitely yeah have the goal of I want to put out yeah more co more valuable content on my youtube channel I know the last many videos have been just lion's pack and protein powder reviews. I mean, they've just been coming out with so many that it's like, I'm trying to keep it up to date as I can. Um, and I don't know how challenging it will be because one, I plan on taking the GMAT, yeah, in two months or in less than that or so. And then of course, if I get into grad school, that's gonna be a time that's taken away from me, you know, from YouTube and training. Um, of course, if that happens this year, you know, I'll try my best to, you know, vlog that and record everything that comes with that type of lifestyle of balancing, you know, work, school, working out, all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I really want to put out some more valuable content, more sit down, more scientific stuff as well, doing a lot of research, you know, taking my time. It just, it, that's the thing. It takes time um you know there's always i have a list of videos i want to make <laughs> and have i done it no um i mean i definitely hit some minor goals also last year of like trying to start reading more so i'd like to continue that and progress with that um i'm like right now reading harry potter i'm finally starting the harry potter series i'm only on the first book um but it's it's awesome so maybe i'll finish the series by this year maybe that'll be a goal i don't know but we'll see i definitely want to reread lord of the rings uh watch lord of the rings more this year if i can of course the other movies as well but yeah i'm as again i'm vocalizing these you know telling you guys so that in a way you're keeping me accountable so don't be afraid um yeah comment below like what are some of your goals for this year 
So I can see what you guys have planned for 2020, you know, but make sure they're attainable and reasonable. I mean, someone who's been eating, you know, McDonald's three meals a day is not going to be able to radically just completely stop that and just eat clean. I mean, unless they're able to afford, um, you know, a meal, a uh, meal planning service, something like that, you know, sometimes people can do it for like a week or two, maybe a month, but then they crack down and, um, you know, it happens to all of us. But I, for me, what's worked is like IIFYM and sure I have to like measure everything, but for me that works. That's not going to work for everyone. But say that person who's eating McDonald's three meals a day cuts it down to one a day and then they're, you know, trying to make their other meals. That's more attainable and it's a step towards the right direction. Sometimes going just cold turkey isn't for, I, you know, for the majority I would find. Um, for me, it, I've done well doing it, you know. Um, it's very abrupt and for me it's just like a, a sudden switch where some people need to wane off of something. Um, and I think that makes it more sustainable for people. So that's kind of my recommendation with that. Of course, you know, it's a to each their own. So if you're someone who likes to take it radically and just switch it 180, go for it. But I feel as though if you're going from like all fried food to just vegetables, it's going to be a hard challenge. And, you know, hopefully some other content I'll be able to put out are recipes and stuff. Um, you know, for good meal ideas, you know, if, if you're also making the goal of maybe going more plant-based, um, then cheers for you. That That's awesome. That's really awesome. Um, I'm definitely an advocate for eating healthy. Um, I don't think absolutely every single person needs to go vegan. I'd love that because I think there is such thing as eating a balanced diet. Do I believe a vegan diet can do better? I do think so. I mean, it's done better for me and it's not just physically, but, um, or physiologically, but also just, you know, environmentally, um, even just for the animals, those kind of things. Like I, I do believe in those, um, you know, animals feel <laughs> just like we humans do. And I think it's very selfish to put your taste buds over the lives of an animal. That's just my opinion. Um, I mean, I have a boyfriend who's not vegan. I don't love him any less, you know? Um, I know that, say, future-wise, I were to marry, have kids, I would love to very much raise him vegan. Um, but let them make that decision, you know, when they're old enough, if they want to, you know, consume animals, and that's up to them. And, you know, I'll show them whatever evidence I can, whatever studies I can, and hopefully they'll make the right decision. Um, you know, and that's what I hope for you guys as well, is that you're open to seeing what evidence there is that supports that, you know, and as well as just, you know, having that heart for animals more so. Um, but anyways, I hope this video is not too, too long and that it's something to help kind of kickstart you in your 2020. Otherwise, yeah, I know I've got some protein reviews coming out. I'm going to be filming today's leg day, so that will also be coming out soon. Not so sure when, but, you know, whenever I can get around the time to do it, because I'm really honking down on studying. So, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, and just click that subscribe button. Join me in seeing this 2020 journey. Join the family. Let's see what we can do in 2020, what we can accomplish together. Good luck, you guys. Bye.